I just got here at Robert Edmondson Conservation Area and I'm gonna try some fishing. Try my new lures. Hopefully I get lucky. Hope they don't get eaten by bugs. Here at Robert Edmondson Conservation Area. And I'll be doing this guy. Some fishing. Let's see if there's any fish in this lake. What the hell? This looks terrible. Oh, this looks awful. Wow. Wow. I don't think there's anything alive in this. There's some ducks. That's kind of cool. Wow. This place looks destroyed. Dude. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm still gonna cast, but what the? There's a fish, small fish. There's a small fish. Dude, this is bad. I gotta pee. Wow, this is not what I expected. I'm just making my way around the other side of the pond. It looks in really bad shape. There's almost no water left. Ah, but we'll see. Maybe there's a deep pocket over here. You know, if it was the water was deep enough it could be a very bassy area but uh, I'm not writing it off just yet you never know I have the whole place to myself this is amazing so even I can even if I could just sit and do a couple tasks I'll be happy it's all like oh nice. there's a herring right there great blue herring look at that he's beastly all right, but the good thing is I can get closer down on these banks. Let's see. Oh. Man, the pictures make it look so nice. See how shallow it really is. It looks like it's like less than a foot deep. This is terrible. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I paid to park here. Wow. I'm pretty sure I'm just bumping the bottom. Oh, my line's twisted. That's why my cast suck. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What's going on with my bra? Well, something's going on with my rod. Right? Look. Oh, here we go. Wow. 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 So annoying. Eight piece rods. How the hell did this even happen? You see the little fish jumping? This is a debacle. I get, bet you it goes in here. Don't do this at home. Don't don't loop your rod through itself. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but it's stupid what I'm doing. Huh? Oh! Fight the tangles! No! No! This is turning into an excellent fishing excursion. All right. Oh, another one jumped. You see that? Did anyone see that? Who am I talking to? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I don't want no tangles. I don't want no tangles. There we go. Alright. This is how an ugly stick should... 
should uh, work. Hi ya! Oh yeah. Distance. Here we go. Yeah, it's shallow. It's shallow. Thought it was a nibble, probably a snag. As shallow as the dickens here. Wow, it's also hot. All right. I'm bummed. I might have to leave. Like I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh! Almost slipped into the bog. I'm pretty sure I can't stay here. There's got to be a lunker bass in here, right? Oh! Is that a fish? I don't know if that was a fish. I felt like it was fighting. I can't believe how shallow this is. I'm going to head down here. See if there's any good news. So, as you can see, the park itself is in great shape. Have some picnics, throw a frisbee, there's some nice shady spots, great big willows. Enormous willows. Have a nice view of the. Yeah. Maybe postpone the family reunion. All right. This is the last hope. I see little fish jump. I don't want the little fish. I'm not five years old. I'm sick of the rock bass and the sunfish. There's ducklings. Ducklings. Ooh, it's mucky, folks. It's a mucky one. I don't think there's any fish in here. <laughs> Honestly, I think they're all dead. I think they all dried up with the rain. Damn it. The whole place myself. Yeah, I'm just sticking to the bottom. Those aren't fishes. Those aren't nibbles, my friends. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Could have done without that. So I'm walking along and I slipped here. <laughs> it's deep there. So it looks shallow. But if you look at my shoe, you'll see that uh, I have a soaker. Oh. Okay. Fishing trip is kicking my butt so far. I'm not having the best luck. It's getting mucky here. I still have one good shoe. One good shoe. I don't even see any like dead fish. No, nope, that's not a dead fish. Oh, that was a frog. I'll catch a frog. There's life here. There's life. All right. Okay, as soon as, I, as soon as it sunk, it just got the biggest snag. It felt like something nibbled it, but it was like the weeds. Anything that goes in here, I think doesn't come out. Wow, all right, cutting my losses. And right now it's all losses. It's nice and peaceful with no one here though. Kind of smells like a diaper, but it can be peaceful. Oh, my shoe. Good thing I'm, whoa, something jumped. Good thing I'm not, uh, deep in the bush but yeah no these, these uh, grounds here are nicely maintained they should post on the website that there's no water 
Man, you should see the uh, <laughs> photos on the website. I gotta put them like as a side by side because it's hilarious. I wish I got my me slipping into the water, into the muck, not water. All right, well, the new weedless jig. I don't know if it works. It looks nice, right? I'm gonna try it again. Some beer cans. Yeah, it's a beautiful park, beautiful day. Nice and quiet. All the bass are dead. Ah! Mosquitoes. Oh, there's a frog. Oh, leopard frog. He's camouflaged. He doesn't know that I see him. Whoop! Wow! That was like a four and a half foot leap. Ah. Bugs are coming out. Yeah, I'm getting bitten. The bugs are coming out. That was one thing the reviews said. They were like, wow, it was a great park, but the bugs just ate us alive. Um, the funny thing about that frog is I've spent so much time in like sale and Bass Pro and shopping online for lures to try and improve my fishing game. But it's funny like how close that thing looked to a lure. See there's a something jumped right here. I will not give up. Never surrender. Even if I'll okay, I'll settle for a rock bass. There's another one. I'll settle for a rock bass, bad. <clears throat> Beauty. Oh, I'm gonna fall again before I leave. I bet you these fish are starving to death. Oh, is that a frog or a fish? That was huge. Oh, oh, going down again. Going down. Going down. Going down. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh. That was bad. That could have been bad. That was both feet at once. Jeez, this not, something doesn't want me here. All right, here we go. Lunker bass. Keep getting tangled in this weedless. With this weedless. No, my shoes are just filling with water. Man. All right, I'm heading out. I'm calling it here before anything bad happens. It's peaceful though. It's <laughs> oh. Sort of. Okay, I can't resist. Doing one cast off of the dock here. Yeah, one, yeah, right. Doing a couple off the dock. I see small fish here, and it's not as weedy. There's a good one. I'm just gonna pitch it here. Not too deep. Just dance in front of their face. I wonder if it's deep out there. Making those pads. I can use a top water there. This is awesome. This side's way better. Side's way better, man. Something just jumped over there. I'm not crazy. Something just jumped over there. Getting weeds here. My weed guard's getting weeds. I just gotta learn how to fish it better. Oh, I just picked up this weed guard jig from Canadian Tire. I haven't actually, this is the first time I used it. That's a good one. Yo, I think I see a fish. Yeah, it's a good sized fish. There's a couple fish in there, man. Gives me a bit of hope. Maybe I shouldn't leave just yet. I wonder if I can get down there. That's a fish on. That's a fish. I got a fish on. Yeah, it's a good sized fish. Good size. Well, it'll do. Good size, but it is a good size fish. Hell yeah, it's a bass. Hell yes. 
Yes! Oh, that's a decent fish. That's a good first fish, bud. Oh, nice. I caught him with a new lure. Oh, I'll be... Oh, nice. Yes! Beauty fish! He's healthy, living in the swamp somehow. Nice fish. Nice. He's a grower. Now I'm going to get down to the water and throw this guy in. Wow! This is a great start. I almost left. Oh, come on, bud. Be lipping that bounce all day, er day. That's a good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to do this. Come on, bud. Nice. Into the muck. Yes! All right. All it took was a little. a new lure, a new location. That's awesome! Yes! All right, maybe I can catch another one. So that was awesome. That bass gave me a lot of hope. And a lot of hope for top water too, because where I pitched this jig was right on the edge of that, with those little weeds. And he was a good size, so he, I know he would definitely go for a top water if I can get it there. But I'm not done with this, this little jig, this little bitty bait it's called. That was great. Perfect. Perfection. I think it had some weight to it. Nice. I'm excited. That makes the wet foot totally worth it. I would soak my other foot for a big fish like that. There you go. Another good cast. See, I knew there was big splashes in here. I was seeing them and I was like, hmm, I guess it could be a frog, but I'm hung up here. I guess it could be a frog, but I don't know. Big fish down there. See if I can grab him. Looking at it, I think. I think he's wary. A lot of bubbles, too. Come on, someone take it. Oh, he turned away. How do you turn away from that delicious... Bitty bait. That may have been the fish I already caught. Yeah, he's a good size. Right in front of his face. I doubt that. It's probably just going to scare him away. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's the bass's nose bumping or if it's the bottom. Especially with these small bass. That was a good size one, I want him. I want him. I want him. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Here we go again with the topwater frog. I want to get some lunkers. And there's a bunch of junk out there that I can just ding, 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 skim across. Let's see. First cast with the ghost frog. Ghosting. If the bass are small like that, they might have a trouble trouble getting this thing in their mouths, but I don't know. They don't call it the largemouth bass for nothing. There it is, on the edge of the weed line. Come on, you know you want it. They don't want it. That's okay. First cast rarely brings in the big guys. Oh wow, you see all that activity over there? Who's looking? Who's hungry? Who wants a froggy? Hi ho! In the junk. They finally got something that can rival this junk. Look at that, I'm just not snagging. Just cleaning, clean and clear and under control. Oh, my face is roasting in the sun. I didn't think it'd be this hot today. 
Right now it's 33 degrees. And humidity. Oh, do you see that? I want that guy. And the humidity is uh, making it feel hotter. Might have to change positions here. Get a better vantage point. We'll see. There's a lot of activity out there. They're just not liking my frog. It might be. I don't know. Could be the color. Oh, was that something? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't tell. It's nice and quiet here. Maybe I'll see some other wildlife. That'd be awesome. Okay, I'm going to move down here and get another vantage point. I'll bring my pliers just in case I get lucky. Oof. Can't really tell. There's only one way to find out. Pitching the frog. Hi ho. Perfect. Man, if I don't catch something on this po this frog by the end of the summer, oh, something just jumped. I want my money back. Right? This thing destroys on the internet and on TV shows. Destroys. But here, puts them all to sleep. See, I see movement around it, eh? It's like they're checking it out. Oh, was that? No, that was just my line. See, sometimes your line gets caught in the, the tops of the lilies, and it looks like a jump. Or like a, so, see that was, that's what happened over there, I think. Well, started off slow, but right now, my fishing excursion has been excellent. Mmm. You ever eat an egg with fish fingers? Mmm. It's not bad. It's, like, it's exactly what you think it is. <laughs> Alright, so are we fishing here? What are we doing? Is this top show? No one's around. You think you'd just be stupid? Yeah, I do think that. Can I eat my egg in peace? Mmm. I'm hungry. Yo! Snapping turtle right there. He looks so awesome. Probably can't see him. Oh, wow. He's just a juvenile, man. I'm surprised he's, uh, well, I guess he's hungry. Oh, wow. Right beside my frog. I'm not trying to catch him. I'm just showing you, like, where he is. He's going right under here. Let's see if I can get some action. No, I don't want to lose my frog. Wow. Nice surprise. All right, all right. Maybe it's, uh, Time for the animals to come out. Don't step there. I just heard a giant splash over here. I went back to the frog. Let's see what I can do. I don't know. I'm not looking, it's not looking good for the frog. Like, it's weird. I just can't believe my luck with this thing. The snapping throw is chasing my lure all the way back to shore. Dude, I am scared. Look at him. He's watching it from, he's, oh my gosh. Look at him! Oh wow, he's starving! This guy's eating. He wants to eat frogs every day. Let's see if I can get him on land. Yeah, look how close he's coming. Let's see him. See him? Try and get him to move. He followed me from the other side of the guck. Oh, I can't. 
coming up for ear. I don't think it's the same one. I think it's like, see him moving. He loves the white frog. The fish don't. That's so cool. Right, if you eat my frog, we're not going to get along. Just come out on this rock. Hello. Hello, Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog here. Come out so I can see ya. You're about to jump. This guy's mean. Well, that's a problem. Like, I don't want to keep throwing my frog. If these turtles are going... There's another one! Wow, it's Snap City. Freaking Snap City. See, that's a problem. If I leave this thing floating there... Look at He's coming. We're going to fight. Turtle power. Um, then I'm going to catch a Snappy. And then we're going to have a problem. See, and the reason why I'm casting there is because I saw a really good sized fish, possibly even bigger than the first fish. See, I have no idea if something's going after right now, but uh, that big one right here, he chased it from all the way, or from all the way the other side of this guck and all the way here. So, you never know. You never know what's on the other side. Now I gotta pass these guys again. Maybe you'll see a little fight go down. Do now. Who's gonna get that frog? Who's gonna get that frog? Nope. Oh! Oh, they see each other. It's going down. It's going fight! I'm just kidding. They probably like live in the same burrow. Alright, I gotta save power. Unless a turtle bites or a fish. See you later. Problem now is these two giant snapping turtles were guarding the shoreline. So every time I cast it and brought my frog in, they were like going after it like full blast. So I had to be careful, watch every cast so I wouldn't lose my frog and have to tango with a snapping turtle. I do not want to tango with a snapper anytime soon. Or, you know, let alone two of them. I'm almost done with the frog. I'm going back to the jig and then after that I think I'm done. So uh, it's almost seven. So I've been fishing here for a while. Oh, saw a big fish. I don't know if he's big enough to handle the frog, but I'm gonna try. See, the problem I'm having now is, or the problem I'm thinking now is all those jumps, they could have been turtles snapping at bugs instead of jumping fish. So that changes things. Because if a turtle bites this, I'm probably not gonna bring him in. He's probably gonna snap the line and I'll lose my lure. And if I lose my lure before I catch a fish on it, that's just it's a lose-lose situation right there. And I'm determined to turn my game around, man. Maybe all those surface disturbances were just turtle snaps. Turtle power. Oh. Okay.